Oh, hello. Series of videos about what we might do after the virus. Yeah, um, I thought today, there was a bit of a lot of stuff this week about uh, Rule Britannia not being sung at the proms and um, the obvious uh, woke agenda to uh, remove this from our national institutions, which I think somehow or other will cause uh, the entire edifice of the UK to collapse screaming beneath the waves never to be seen again or something um yeah rule britannia how vastly important it is that we leave that intact and people can wave their little union jack flags at the proms uh, each year and feel very patriotic so i want you to sing after me okay rule britannia britannia rules the waves britain never 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 shall be slaves don't know the words, don't know the rest of it, don't have any idea about it at all. No, do you? Because nobody effing does. It's like old Dang Zine. It's like the second verse of the National Anthem. Yeah? Yeah? Any ideas? Go on, have a guess. Have a guess. Uh, probably something about waves again and stuff. Yeah. Gonna read it to you, okay? Written um, in uh, the 18th century, uh, roughly oh, just about 100 years before slavery was abolished. Fact fans. So, um, you know, when we're talking about a colonial past, uh, we need to sort of bear that in mind as to why it's so important that the wokists amongst us are trying to get rid of it. Hmm. Okay, um, so, um, when Britain's first, at heaven's command, arose out of the azure main, it's to do with the sea, really, isn't it, eh? This was the charter of the land, and the guardian angel, angels sang this, riff, sang this strain, refrain. The nations not so blessed as thee, uh, must in turn to tyrants fall, whilst thou shalt flourish, flourish great and free, the dread and envy of them all. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. I'm not going to read the rest of it, because it's essentially just kind of what a jingoistic madness um you need to think about the context that this was written in uh it was written at a time when uh it was felt important that there should be a notion of uh, a greater britannia um a, a a larger island so uh britannia got taken on board with the idea of incorporating those welsh people those scottish people and those uh northern ireland people into a cohesive main and therefore Britannia is a metaphor for that but it's definitely wrapped up in you know colonialism and empire there's no two ways about it um most people think it says Britannia rules the wave that's actually a kind of Victorian add-on when we used to uh don't anymore okay not really quite sure if we're going to send gunboats to China but I doubt it very very much anyway um, yeah, as usual, uh, uh, those people at Talk Radio are getting very, very het up with this. Uh, a song they know nothing about, uh, whose lyrics they don't know, but it's vitally important. Vitally. Okay? Yeah, isn't it? Because we can't possibly change anything in this country. Um, I am... When I was sort of hearing about this, I was very, very, uh, rem very much remembering uh, that we used to play the national anthem in this country at uh, close down on TV. And don't forget to switch off your sets. Um, don't anymore. All right. It used to be when if you went to see a film at the cinema, they used to play the national anthem at the end of that. And you're supposed to stand up and wait for it to finish. OK. Why did we change that? Well, the answer was because it was, uh, I think... As far as I can make out, it was the PC Brigade, uh, probably Antifa-led, in the 1950s that finished that one. It's just a load of old horse, isn't it, eh? Just a load of horse, yeah. Just a way of kind of dictating a particular agenda about certain things. Getting very, very angry about the fact that certain people, over time, will change things, yeah? I mean, I don't know. Again, I've said this like in the last video. When exactly is it that we stop and we don't move forwards? Is it 1960? Is it 1950? Is it 1833 when, when slavery was abolished? Do we, is that the date that we have to stick to and everything else is a woke agenda? Because... You know, I mean, all of these people on these right wing radio, uh, uh, talk radio and Nigel Farage and all the rest of it, they seem quite happy living in 2020 for the most part. Yeah, they don't actually want to go back to a time when there wasn't divorce, 
when people didn't have basic human rights. They didn't seem quite happy with now. And yet they're going to get hit up about a song that they know nothing about. It's actually, the level of hypocrisy is quite astounding. So once again, simple question. When is it that we stop? When does history stop? When do we stop making any changes to anything? Yeah? Windows 95? Windows 98? Windows ME? Windows 2000? Windows Vista? Windows 8? Windows 7? Ah. Windows 10? When exactly was perfection reached and what has been lost in the meantime? Nothing. We move on. The tides turn. Just to use the sea metaphor, because it's like rule Britannia. Anyway, after the virus, come on, guys. Culture wars, you know, is it the hill you want to die on? A song that you don't know the words to? Really? Yeah. Anyway, 